All right, everybody, we're going to get started. First, before we get started, I'd like to thank everybody for taking some time out of their covering experience to uh, sit with us. And uh, on behalf of myself and my extended Ladder Creek family, thank you. Uh, we're going to be walking you guys through our new bonding flange drains and our new tile and drain. Uh, my name is Dustin Prevett. For those of you who don't know me, I am the senior product manager for membranes, shower systems, and floor heat. And with me from our technical services team, I have Gilles Bignoles, and from our technical sales team, Danny Perez. So they are going to help us on this journey as we walk through our new bonding flange and our new tile and drains. All right, so what's new? Um, we, are in the, we are in the business of making continuous improvements to our products, because at the end of the day, we want to be able to provide you guys with the most workable and manageable solutions to help you execute on the job site in the most efficient and cost-effective way as possible. So I'm going to go do a little bit of side-by-side -side so you can kind of see the previous generation and then you can look at what's to come so you can really get a sense for the enhancements that we made to these products. They are low profile, both of them, whether it be the 4x4 or the tile-in. We want to focus on low profile. Less is more in this instance. They're going to be compatible with a various range of tile sizes and thicknesses. They are IATMO compatible, or IATMO, IATMO approved, PS106, and they will work in accordance with our preformed shower pan, which is going to be part of the demo you're going to see today, and also in, in a traditional mud bed installation. We have ABS and PVC options available based on local code. One other thing you're going to note, and we have, we have a section of it in our booth, is our new packaging. We are making strides to tell a better story to help you guys walk through what you're going to be potentially using at a quicker and more concise level. If you see some of the old basic, we've moved to more visual, more graphic oriented packaging, a lot more descriptive, so you're able to understand what you're getting in that 15 seconds when you're looking at it on a store shelf or on a distributor. So what's new with our flanges? Before we go what's new, let's talk about what was old. So one of the major deficiencies we learned through job site research is the way that our 4x4 grate sat, and I'll get you a more descriptive picture right there. It was sitting up too high based on how it was screwing into the adjustment ring. So if you see this on a profile level, and you guys can all come up and take a look later on, you'll be able to see how high it actually sat. And it didn't make it compatible with some of the, more, the thinner mosaic tiles that are becoming more popular. So we took, the, we took this approach in that we redesigned our adjusting ring so it's channeled in nature and it'll fit the corners of the 4x4 grate, allowing it to sit as low as possible within the adjusting ring on the flange. We also streamlined the flange, we thinned it down a little bit so it minimizes the buildup upwards, whether you're doing it in a mud bed installation or with our shower pan and kit. So again, basic slight innovation that's going to allow this to be workable and more usable with a wider variety of tiles. Next, one that we're really excited about, this is our tile and drain. As invisible drains are becoming more popular, they're starting to pop their way into more and more installs from a percentage standpoint, we knew that we didn't have a workable solution. Our current solution looked more like a salsa tray that you'd kind of send out at a party, right? It was big, it was bulky, wasn't compatible with our current pan and kit system, and even when using it in a mud bed installation, there was a tremendous amount of buildup that was required, and it was just something that people or guys or end users like yourself did not want to go through on, 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 on the job. So what did we do? We streamlined it to be at its most minimalistic level in terms of height there is a new adjusting ring that is going to be specific to the tile-in. It'll come with four silicone corners that'll act as support and for weight absorption and also to minimize noise. It'll have a final stainless steel finishing plate, which you would then back butter and apply your final tile to. Jill and Danny are going to demo that shortly. So when you think about it, the profile difference is immense. You're going from almost two inches down to as thin as the actual tile. Some additional innovation that we added to these flanges, we've roughed up, uh, added texture to the inside of the flange for better bonding, and we also included a mortar protection cap. So this would essentially sit over the final tieable piece 
throughout the balance of the installation so you're not gunking up the waste outlet, you're not clogging up the waste outlet, and it gives you the barrier for where to install tile up to, and then the final tile placement to have drainage around it. It also has marking guides so you know exactly how high you want to go all the way around. You can check your perimeter. There's three different increments. They're all quarter, uh, eighth of an inch in nature based on tile heights and tile thicknesses. So with that, we're going to transition over to our we're going to transition over to the demo portion of this. Now, the demo rig we have set up, we took a few creative liberties because we do want to be able to reuse this demo. It, it is, or the, our shower pan is sitting on top of three sheets of hydroband board. That's just to protect the substrate so we can reuse the demo. We know that you are supposed to then be thin setting these down to the sub, subfloor. So with that, the first step would be the dry fit, which we've kind of already done, right? Jill's just going to dry fit it, make sure he's lined up to his waste outlet. And then from there, it's really going to be spreading or in installing the flange itself. We know we have a good fit. And then we're going to be putting the sheet membrane over the top of it to thus waterproof the installation. Now, in a more traditional and elongated one where we have a little bit more time, that sheet membrane would be thin-setted down directly to the pan for liberty and to speed things up and keep you guys engaged. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to just fast forward a little bit. So as if that was thin-setted, Jill is now going to measure the waste outlet to cut the waste outlet, which is then going to allow him to put the final uh, adjusting ring, which is this guy right here, right on top. And then what we're going to do is tile around it so you guys can see how low the actual tile sits. And Joe, you're just using a traditional box cutter, right? Easy cut on the sheet membrane. All of our sheet membranes are worked in accordance with our pans. They come in the pans and the kits. They are IATMO rated for PS106, and they are completely waterproof. They meet all the ANSI 1810 standards. So with that, we're now going to dry fit the adjusting ring. And we'll throw, we'll throw the mortar cap on because we want to keep it protected throughout the installation. That's big because the last thing you want to do is have to chisel out thin set as it's on the waste outlet or any of the fittings on, under the subfloor. So what we have is basic four cut pieces of tile. We're going to thin set around the adjusting ring. We're going to line and marry up. We'll put four tiles down, one up, down, left, right. And then you guys can see that final tile placement be put on that finishing plate. So you can see how it marries up at its thinnest possible height. Now questions for you guys in the audience. Has anybody had any experiences with our bonding flange drains prior to seeing, would you say, you like them now? All right, cool. Well, come up. You can take a look. You can look at them side by side to truly get a sense of the height reduction that we did here. And this is purely based on the, the research that we got from the field. One of the things we like to do as product managers, you know, this isn't my number, no, this isn't my profession. This is you guys. I want to be out there watching you. This is how we learn and this is how we innovate so we can continually improve not only our physical or our drain products, but also our thin sets, our grouts are um, waterproofing membranes. So this is a continuous improvement process that we undertake for all of our different categories. So as you can see, Jill has the thin set evenly spread out around the adjusting or around the mortar installation cap. You can truly see how much that can actually block out and stop from going into the waste outlet. And now we're just going to apply four pieces of tile around the perimeter. And then what we'll do is Danny is already back buttered that, that finishing plate, and that'll, that'll allow for the final installation. Now, one thing to note, thin set can be used over that plate. You can also add a coating or a layer of waterproofing membrane, whether it be a Hydro Barrier Plus, a Hydro Band, a Hydro Band XP, a 9235. It will accept that. It's not needed. It's just for extra security for the perfectionist that I know a lot of you guys are. So the guides there, the, the, the silicone feet will also act as guides. You can also see how we have the proper spacing because of that installation cap and the barrier that it created around the drain. So if you guys want to come up, you can take a look. You can truly see how low that physically does sit. And with that, I'll open it up to any questions, or if anybody wants to come up and look at the drains themselves, they're more than welcome. Any questions from the audience?
great. All right, well, thank you again, guys, for taking the time out. I know we have a couple more demos today. We have a grout demo at 2.30, and then we have a uh, liquid waterproofing demo tomorrow, in addition to some of the ones we already ran with the adhesives. So thank you guys for taking some time out. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of uh, Coverings 2023. Thank you.